Welcome to Accounting Head Updates. My name is Dr. Bob Minetti, and today I want to share a story with you of a recent fraud examination that I've done, trying to give you a little bit of insight to how the criminals think. Now, this particular investigation involved a uh, property management company, and we had a, a small property management company, and they had a number of properties that they were managing, and they brought in a bookkeeper to assist them with the accounting. Now the bookkeeper set up their accounting files and then of course since the owners were real estate agents they were very familiar with real estate laws and everything like that but not so much with accounting software. So what the bookkeeper did is they set up one uh, QuickBooks file for the uh, trust account for the property management company and then a separate QuickBooks file for every single owner and renter. So there were literally hundreds of QuickBook files out there and none of them were being reconciled on a regular basis. And this allowed the bookkeeper to siphon over $100,000 out of the organization. And the way she was able to do that is that normally what happens is we're going to track the rent very carefully because we track the rent, we make the payments to the you know, mortgage company, we make the payments for electricity, uh, pro, you know, for the uh, HOA dues, et cetera, and the remainder of the rent, rent money goes back to the owners. So what the person was doing, the way she figured out how to get around this, the initial deposit checks, the deposits that the renters were putting down on the properties were being done with cashier's checks and money orders. And the bookkeeper realized, wow, that these things are going to be sitting there for at least a year, maybe two years, while the people are renting the properties, no one's going to be asking about the money. The landlord, the owner of the property, doesn't expect that money. They expect the property management company to hold on to it and, assuming the tenant meets all their obligations, give it back to the tenant when they move out. The tenant knows they're not entitled to that deposit until they move out and assuming that the property's clean and they met all the conditions of the lease and paid all their uh, fees. So the money is going to be sitting in the trust account. So what she did is she stole the money orders and the, the cashier's checks and cashed those. And it became very difficult to trace things down because, again, they didn't come out of the renter's bank account, so we couldn't necessarily just ask them for a copy of the check. And of course, when we had the files, all the monthly rent checks and other checks, we had copies of those in the files. What did she forget to copy? every single one of the deposit checks. There were no copies of any of those checks in the files. So now we've got to go back to the places that issued the money orders and the cashier's checks. And in most cases, they've only had data for maybe 30 days. They don't have the ability to find it. They can't figure out. And of course, our tr we're trying to get copies of the numbers. We don't even have the check numbers or the ability to give them information to trace it down. Because a lot of times when we went back to the renters and said, did you keep a copy of that? They said, no, we gave you the check. And when, when we didn't have any issues and we paid our first month rent, you know, we just tossed it. We didn't keep it. So we can't even trace some of the checks down to prove where the money was deposited other than knowing that it never made it into the property management account. So I wanted to just share this with you to give you an example of some of the ways that criminals think. Even when we think we can trust somebody, that we, uh, we brought them on board our company to help us and to make our a better company, some of the people out there are trying to find ways to steal from us. And if they can find a way to take advantage of a breakdown in our internal controls, we understand that they're gonna have the opportunity to commit fraud, and that's one of the things we need to be aware of. That's our tip for today. Thank you and have a good day.